Hello friends. We ended up having a baby over Christmas and since then it has been an absolute whirlwind having Miss Violet at the hospital. So a lot of packages have arrived and they've just accumulated so I figure we need to do a package opening before I head to the hospital this morning and get through some of this stuff. It may take me a time or two to get through everything. I'll also update you on how baby Violet is doing. Okay, so let's see how much we, of this we can get done before I have to go pump and head to the hospital. Um, first of all, Violet is doing really, really well. The first two weeks in the hospital, she had a CPAP on. This just helps keep the airways open. She was actually on room air, no oxygen, no intubation, which was amazing for a 30 week baby. We were so happy. Um, at 32 weeks, she got to take off the CPAP and have what they call a room air test. She passed that the first day and was able to graduate to a less intensive part of the NICU. So she got a new room. Oh my goodness, once they took that CPAP off and we got to see how cute her face is, oh, we just like fell in love all over again. She is adorable. So now the goal is just to put on weight which she has consistently been putting on some weight. Then she'll scoot back a little bit. She was born at three pounds, eight ounces, and she dropped all the way down to three pounds, two ounces. And she's now worked her back, way back up to like three pounds, 11 ounces. So she is doing good at putting on the weight. She's pooping, she's peeing, she's doing all those things that a baby should do. She is still too young to have the suck, swallow, breathe. Um, so no bottle feeding yet, no breastfeeding, but she does have an NG tube and they feed her that. She has shown signs of some reflux um, and being spitting up, so they slowed her feedings down. They take an hour and a half to feed her using this machine that pushes, you know, a syringe and it goes through her tube. I hold her upright most of the time while she's getting fed. Yeah, she's doing really well. She's beautiful. She's a fighter. Oh. <sighs> Still so many emotions because, you know, we're dealing with grief of losing her sister Maggie, but then you just put Violet in your arms and I hold her for at least a minimum of six hours a day and um, I just like feel at peace when I'm holding her. I love her so much. So let me first show you a few things I have ordered while sitting in the NICU. This is the first thing. It's from a company called Made by Mary. They had these birth flowers and it happened to be a, one of them happened to be a violet and then they also had a magnolia. So I ordered myself this necklace. I don't know if you guys can see. One's a magnolia and one is a violet so that I can wear my sweet little girls around my neck. I have not put it on yet. Put it on there. So came in this really beautiful little box that says tell your story. It's a beautiful one. So got my little baby girls around my neck there. The other thing I ordered, which I'm really excited about is this is called the Sprocket by HP and you download an app and it allows you to print pictures right from your phone onto a little piece of paper, kind of like a Polaroid, but they're actually sticker papers. And I wanted to start working on Violet's baby book. And that's what I always get stuck on is actually printing out pictures to put in the baby book. So this allows you just to print them right on from your phone, which all my good photos at this point are on the phone. I did order an extra little photo paper. This has 50 sheets. See if you guys can see that. So it doesn't require any ink or anything. It just, the ink is in the photo sheets and then they just print out. I've heard great things about it. I'll have to tell you how I like it. And yes, I ordered it in like a light purple. Sorry, the lighting in this room is so bad. I have a light on, but then it makes it hard to show things. But I ordered it in a light purple. I am drawn to all things little violet right now. So those are things that I ordered. Now let's get into some of these boxes from our viewers. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, in the NICU on a Christmas tree, they had little knitted things that you could take as like baby hats and things, but they had these cute little extra tufts, which are boots that we wear in Alaska a lot. So I grabbed a pair 
to use as ornaments. That's what they were using them as. I, you could probably put them on their feet as well, but I did grab one for Maggie and Violet to put on our Christmas tree because they were just so cute. I couldn't resist. Let's get into these boxes. My mom is so kind and went through and opened them for me, most of them, so that I don't have to fumble around with scissors. Okay, this says, Dear Lauren and Mark, Merry Christmas from Amelia McGrath in Australia. Love this cookbook for kids. Awesome. We have kids that love to cook, so that is amazing. Thank you. So I think we're going to have a combination of Christmas gifts and baby gifts. We're just going to see what we find and try and go through as quickly as possible. So we've got a very hungry caterpillar, little soft book, and Eric Carl 12 board books. So cute. I love that. And these are also from Amelia. Oh, wow. This is really compacted down. It's a nursing pillow. Like it's shrunk wrapped, but it gets big. I honestly need to take a nursing pillow with me to the NICU in the next day or so because they're wanting me to do what's called non-nutritive feeding. So after I pump, I need to put her to breast just so she can start to nuzzle. She does go at her um, pacifier so hard. So I think she's gonna do great when we start feeding her. This is from Maria. Congratulations on your baby girl. Thank you so much. It says the cute little wooden box that says welcome to the world. And then inside there's a cute bow. Hello, I'm here. There's a really cute swaddle blanket. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little rattle. And then a little baby thing for them to just play with all the different knots and tags and stuff. Oh, it's super soft too. And then it has also Adventure Awaits Little Onesie. Thank you so much, Maria. What a fun little box for little peanut, little peanut violet. This gift came from Mark's coworker, Lisa. She got us a little outfit. I have to tell you, my mom is the best. She tackled the project of going through all the clothes that were sent, washing them, folding them, sorting them by size because I'm just not around. And she got all the preemie stuff out. So I have been taking the preemie stuff to the hospital and I've only dressed Violet one time, but it just made her like, I don't know, it just was so cute. So thank you for everyone that sent preemie stuff. She doesn't really need to wear clothes much right now, but we've taken blankets and swaddles and things so she can use them and have her own stuff. So just, these are also from Mark's coworker. Very cute. I'm sure we'll have another pile of stuff for grandma to sort here after doing this. This box is from Ethel. Thank you, Ethel. Oh my goodness, okay. This one is definitely a Christmas one. It's got wrapped Christmas presents. Magnet from the Oregon Coast. Ethel, thank you so much for thinking of us. We've got, oh, a really soft, nice ABC book. It says ABCs of color. We've got some beautiful swaddle blankets. This next box came from Hilda in New York. Oh, beautiful family, thank you. We've got some treats for Miss Luna. And we've got some Slurpers candy. I've never heard of those. Okay, we've got like a little teething toy for baby girl. We've got some little socks with bows on them. Oh man, this lighting, I don't think I'm getting this. There we go. Mark needs to get out his ladder that I never gave him for Christmas. I told him about it, but it's in the shed. You guys saw me buy it at Costco. He needs to get that out and fix the light in here for me. Oh, we got some socks with like lace on them. Very girly and cute. She's so tiny right now. Any clothes, even preemie clothes, kind of swallow her. Some pink ones with lace. 
Got a little memory game for the boys. Oh, there's a couple of those. Spaceman aircraft. Fun. And some little flowers, like headbands. Very cute. Oh, a toy from Miss Luna. Some barrettes. This will all be so fun. Right now, Violet is so tiny. I tried to put a bow on her head and it just looked so silly because her head is so little. I was just going to put it on for a picture and then take it off, but nope. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> She's so little, but so beautiful. I hooked Daddy's heart. What a fun box of goodies, Hilda. Thank you so much. This next box is from Christy in Hawaii. She has sent us several very nice little gifts over the holidays, so thank you so much, Christy. We've got a little shirt for 4th of July, Daddy's Little Sweetie. Thank you. This is a Bible Promises for Mom book. Baby girl, we'll open that one. Oh, we've got a cute little gap shirt some cute checkered pants Ooh, a baby shark book and a little baby shark a pink one and a baby shark activity pad and a book and then some stickers and then we have how to catch a unicorn so fun and where do kisses come from? Well, we love having new books to read, so thank you. We will, can't wait to bring Violet home and be able to read books to her. Sitting in the rocking chair. So this is from Amelia. She said she placed one order, but it came in a bunch of boxes and it was for Christmas and for baby girl. So we got some Minecraft Legos, how fun. Thank you. And we've got, oh, I love Christmas puzzles. This is from Amelia as well. It is a fun 100 piece puzzle. Oh, that's a great number for doing with the kids. We've got Where's Bluey book. Bluey was not around when my kids were little, so that will be new for our family. We've got a game called Sushi Go. We have not tried this one. I have to tell you, the game Taco versus Burrito that got sent to us earlier has become Everett's favorite game. Everybody likes to play it, but Everett would play it for hours if he could. So these continue to be from Amelia. We're just going to assume if it's an Amazon package, it's from Amelia until I find one that's not. <laughs> she definitely spoiled us. I could have just had Christmas right here. Oh, these are so fun. Scratch art. I love doing those scratch arts as a kid. So fun. Glue sticks. You know, it's the kids are going back to school. They've been back for a week. They always run out of glue sticks. We've got a Uno Wilderness. I didn't know until this Christmas when people started sending us Uno cards just how many different types of Uno there are. Here's another puzzle. Map of the USA. That's a fun puzzle, learn your states. And these are all from Amelia. Amelia, thank you. You completely spoil our family and I don't know what we do to deserve all this. Amazing. So we've got a, all sorts of Christmas coloring books. These are gonna be so fun for the years ahead. Oh wow, thank you. Surrounded by Amazon packages. I love you to the moon and back. Beautiful, I love that. And then we've got my first book of animals, shapes, colors, numbers, fruits, vegetables. Those are gonna be so great. And they really did break up this order into so many, <laughs> so many packages. I wonder if between our Christmas cards, that's something else I wanted to talk about. Between the Christmas cards and these packages, I think I probably got the most mail at the entire post office because I sent out over a thousand Christmas cards, which is a new record. 
I think last year we did about 600. I am into the next stack of 250, so I've already sent out a thousand. So amazing. Oh, we've got another Minecraft Lego set. Awesome. We've got a game called Point Salad. Point Salad's fast and fun card drafting game for the whole family. There are over 100 ways to score points. Player may use a variety of strategies and every game of Point Salad is unique. Wow, we like learning new games. Not a ton of time to play games right now that Christmas break is over, but we are kind of in survival mode at the moment. Lots of time at the hospital. Mark goes every morning to see Violet on his way to work. He's back at work. Um, and then I go and take over while the boys are at school. My parents are here, so they're here when the boys get home from school. And then Mark tries to get home in time for dinner. Um, my mom's been making dinner. People have been bringing us dinners. So we're really, really blessed. It's been hard, but we're. I just take it one day at a time. If I try and plan more than one day at a time, nothing ever happens the way that I think it's going to. So I just plan the next day, kind of what my plan is, and then we just roll with it if things change. We just make adjustments. My first story is Winnie the Pooh builds a snowman. Ooh, these are cool. Metallic colored pencils. Westy got a sketchbook for Christmas. He'll really like to use those. Oh, we got more, wow. Vibrant colored pencils, coloring for grown-ups. Wow. And another puzzle called Santa's Sleigh. This feels like Christmas for me since I pretty much missed Christmas. I had a stocking. Mark was so sweet and his Christmas present to me was a little baby moon. We were going to go stay at an Airbnb and go out to dinner with my sister and her husband and he had arranged babysitting for the boys and then the girls came early and so we didn't get to do that but he had planned out a whole thing so that was my Christmas present and it was so sweet and we will make sure that at some point when Violet's out of the hospital will take us with we'll take her with us and go on some sort of little staycation maybe we'll see I don't know <laughs> all right this is sent to me for uh, geometry Valentine's Day I got to pick out some stuff. Geometry are my favorite dish towels. They are made out of recycled water bottles. They're ultra absorbent and they dry quickly. Look how fun these are. So this is like a red check. This one is called cherries. So I thought these would be fun together for Valentine's Day. These are not paper towels. I have not tried these yet. I keep ordering them and then I give them away. So I'm gonna try them out and then I got Matching dish towel. I always have a discount code, uh, Lauren H15 for 15% off of geometry towels. If you wanna, if you like ordering things for different holidays, they always have the cutest prints. So these are for Valentine's Day. And then I have another geometry package here. Oh, this is for like new year, new you. We've got a fitness towel for while you're working out. You can wipe your sweat. And then we've got a yoga towel. So a yoga towel goes over your yoga mat, which when I go back to the gym, I can't wait to take this with me because I hate laying down on the mats. Like if one, maybe somebody didn't clean it. And two, if they clean it, sometimes they put too much spray on it and then the mat is like sticky. So it's got little rubber uh, things on the back. So you can lay it down over your yoga towel, over your yoga mat. Oh, look how pretty this is. Lay it down over your yoga mat and then you've got your nice towel to absorb your sweat, but also just kind of keep it clean. Or if you like doing yoga, this would be great to put on your yoga mat. I do not do yoga, but I do do stretching and I look forward to get back in, looking forward to getting some exercise back into my life, but I don't know when that will happen. So this is their fitness towel. All of their towels come with a little loop on them, so it makes them really easy to hang up and dry. Ooh, I love these together. Make you excited to get to the gym and work out. 
or just work out at home. That's more like what's going to happen. I have my walking pad. That's that's what I'm going to be doing at first. Just starting to walk more. I look forward to it. So geometry, Lauren H15 for 15% off your orders all the time. Love them. Yeah, can't say enough good things about the geometry towels. All right, I think I have time for one more box before I need to go and pump. This one is not open. I did bring scissors down, but now I have no idea where I put them. Oh, they're over there. Now this is from Amanda in Australia. Amanda already sent us a box, a very nice box. So thank you for spoiling us. I have to tell you, my sister, when she came to get the boys on Christmas Eve to go back to her house when Mark and I were at the hospital, she came in and grabbed the Australia um, game that got sent to us that had like the um, Australian trivia because her husband is from Australia and she said they have had the best time. Her daughter sits and quizzes her dad and like he answers all the questions and everybody else had no idea but they learned a lot about Australia so she'll give it back to us and I look forward to going through it but that was really really fun for them. Ooh, speaking of Australian games, Monopoly Australia. How fun is that? You got a barbecue, a kangaroo, a guy surfing, a mince pie, a kookaburra. I don't, is that a cricket? Oh, it's like a cricket paddle. How fun. I also, when my dad got here, we went through, I took out the Tasmania tea towel that got sent to us and he showed me everywhere he lived in Tasmania so somebody left a question my dad served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for two years in Australia um, I'll have to ask him what year it was I can't remember let's see he and my mom got married in 68 so it would have been sometime in the early 60s oh, Eric Carl the very hungry caterpillar Australian friends never seen that how fun is that this is one of my favorite books so I can't wait to it's a flip book too where you flip things up love that diary of a wombat international bestseller how cute is that wombat on the front of there beautiful books thank you I am going to read these to Everett tonight when I get home from the hospital because that is what we've been doing to connect. Um, Everett and I, I've just been trying to read to him at night. Oh, that's not my wombat. Oh, how cute. Are wombats nice or are they mean? Because they sure look cute in these pictures. Amanda, this is beautiful. Thank you for your nice card. Oh, we're going to get into Bluey. I am excited. I've heard amazing things about it. So these are the Bluey characters. Oh, how cute. Oh. <laughs> Love it. I've just heard great things about what, like, the morals that it teaches and things. So we are set with our Bluey characters. Thank you. Now we have a spinny high chair toy. That'll be fun. And of course for Miss Luna. Now Luna misses me, yes. She is very vocal when she gets home. Sometimes she goes and hangs out with my parents if they're around while the boys are at school. But anytime I'm pumping, she lays on my legs and is making sure to supervise and keep me company while I pump milk for Miss Violet. Wow, what a fun Australia box. All right, friends. I'm gonna have to come back and finish this a little bit later. I need to go pump and head to the hospital. I'll be back. All right, friends. Time for round two of package opening. Hopefully we can get through the rest this time. This one is from Australia, from Trisha. Little flower onesie. New baby, zero. Oh, I love that. Her feet are really big and some of these like preemie onesies, we're afraid her feet won't fit in, but this one has open at the feet. It'll be perfect. Oh, it's so cute. And then got a little handkerchief with pink on the outside and another little onesie. Oh, she is my flower baby, so I love all the flowers. And then 
Oh wow, this feels very delicate. Oh, and it's got little purple flowers on it. Oh my goodness gracious, we're gonna need to take pictures in this. It's like a little jumper. It's so cute. It's got little purple flowers on it. I don't know if I can get it to show in the camera, but they're just little beautiful purple flowers. Thank you. Violet is doing amazing. Um, she hit four pounds, which she had dropped and dropped and dropped and then was slowly making her way back up and then went back down. And now she's been just making really good gains the last few days. Four pounds, yay. So very excited about that. I think I said this was from Australia. It is from New Zealand. I was wrong, so sorry, Trisha. This is from New Zealand. Thank you. So I have to take a minute and just say how amazing Mark has been through this whole journey. Um, I love my husband so much and I knew he was amazing, but these last six months, he's just shown how amazing he really is. So just really grateful for him. He's done great with the boys at home. He's done great with Violet at the hospital and me. And as we went through the whole pregnancy, he was just right there the whole time. So he's been amazing. And then my parents who are here just like filling in the gaps where Mark and I can't be. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. This one just says, enjoy your gift. There is no, there's no name, but it's a cute little outfit with little roses on it and a little hat. So thank you to whoever sent that. This one's an Amazon one. This is from Amelia, again. Cute little outfit. And this one has a hat, so maybe that other one, they kind of match. Maybe that other one was from her too. Oh, and a purple little outfit. I tell you, this little girl's gonna be the best dressed. Oh, how cute is that? It's like a knit onesie with little flowers. Oh, so cute five to eight pounds so maybe by the time she comes home from the hospital she'll fit into this right now she's pretty teeny tiny still Ooh, we've got some magnets this is a magnet from South Carolina I don't think we have a South Carolina yet so we'll add that to the magnet board thank you oh there's some crumpled papers in here maybe we can see who it's from Debbie Sparks and Cal. Thank you for the South Carolina. I got a University of Iowa magnet here as well from C Money Smith. So thank you for the magnet. We'll add it to the magnet board. This package is from Becky in Arizona. Oh, we got some little mitts. Cute. She does love to have her hands in her face. Um, just like she did in all the ultrasounds. Cute little bear hat with ears. So cute. And a bath puppet. Oh, look at that cute little ham for little Miss Ham. Thank you, Becky. This is from somebody in New Mexico. El Taco Mexicano. These are magnets. A Mexico magnet. And then... An with a Mexico magnet with an axolotl on it. Axolotl, probably said that wrong. And one with Monarch Butterfly. Thank you so much. This must be the magnet section. My mom said she made a magnet section. We have one from Rhode Island. Awesome. And this is from, I'm not sure, it just says enjoy your gift. So somebody in Rhode Island, thank you for the magnet. This package is from Holloway in Singapore. It amazes me when packages come from around the world. People are so generous. Cute little cats on this 3D card. Open it up and there's some little kitty cats in there. Sending you some treats and tastes from Singapore where I've been living for the last 11 years. Ooh, wow. We've got some green tea, white chocolate, and fruit and nut chocolate bars. 
coconut cookies, some premium dungi tang. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like you boil it up and it kind of makes like a little meat soup. Some Singapore curry paste, yum. Have that with some halibut. Looks like a reusable shopping bag. Chicken and rice mix. A samp fish sauce, oops. Fish sauce and soup spices. Thank you so much. These will be fun to experiment with when I'm back to cooking more. <laughs> I've not been doing any of the cooking. Uh, friends have been bringing dinners some nights and then my mom or Mark have been cooking other nights. Thank you. <laughs> this next box is from Jody in Alabama. It says fragile on it. Oh wow. Oh, it's a painting of a cardinal. Wow. I'm learning how to watercolor and I paint every morning. When I learned of baby girl's passing, I painted a cardinal in the Alaska snow for you to remember her. Thank you. Appreciate that. Beautiful painting. Thank you so much. This box is from Karen in Louisiana. Ooh, little girl stuff. Shirt and pants. This looks like a tiny preemie outfit, so we'll have to take that to the hospital right away. She's starting to wear clothes every day, and they're trying to get her off of the heated bed and into room temperature, so we're starting to get her dressed. So, pretty fun. Oh, cute little romper. Little sister with little rainbows little fleece top that's so soft and cute and some pants oh wow fancy little outfit some little shoes like little ballet slipper shoes some little red shoes some frilly socks not stuff that i'm used to having all boys some more little frilly socks i remember having ones like this as a little girl i thought they were so fun all right, a little onesie and a little sleeper and a bow and a blue outfit. Love that. Very different than all the pink. Comes with a matching bow and socks. Wow, some more frilly socks and some cute little, like little Mary Jane shoes. Thank you, Karen. She fit a lot in that box. Wow. This is another box from Amelia. Ooh, a fun hundred piece manger puzzle. These will be great. For next year, we will be ready for Christmas. And some more coloring books. A couple different Christmas coloring books in here. I have to have a coloring competition next year. Oh, and don't you worry, we're gonna have all the different things to color it with. Wow! It's got crayons, markers, colored pencils. Incredible, thank you so much. Ooh, okay, we've got How to Catch a Reindeer book. And some Dr. Seuss beginning book collections. Hop on Pop, Cat in the Hat, One Fish, Two Fish. Wow, we are just gonna, pretty much we have Christmas all over again here. Amelia. <laughs> wow, Amelia McGrath and your family, you have just spoiled us rotten. All of our viewers have just spoiled us with all your kind words, emails, comments, watching our videos. Oh, we just can't express the gratitude we have enough because things have been tough and it's just the prayers and the kind words have just carried us through and continue to carry us through. This says it is from, I'm not sure, the Netherlands, wow. Oh, these are so soft. Look like little blankets or maybe burp cloths, but they're like super soft and I love the colors. Oh, we've got little stocking leggings, tights. I'm not sure what you call them, but they're so cute. Oh, look at these. Oh, little booties. Oh. And they got purple on the bottom. 
Judith, thank you so much. What a beautiful box. I also have some little chocolates. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but they look yummy. Very crunchy. Like a gingerbread cookie with white chocolate on it. Next round of boxes. Please do not feel the need to send anything more for baby Violet or us. Like we have so much stuff and we haven't even had a chance to go through and organize it all. So don't feel like now that she's here, you need to send anything. We are just so grateful for everything that's already been sent. These continue to be from the McGrath family. Oh my goodness. We are just going to have a whole art studio here. Super art coloring kit. Another one boys are gonna open up their own art studio with all this fun art supplies. Ooh, we have a foam disc ball game. That looks fun. Some baby Einstein board books. Good night little bear. Guess in 10 underwater animals. That'll be fun. Nursery rhymes. Ooh, taco versus burrito expansion pack. Foodie expansion. Uh, this is Everett's now favorite game, and so he will enjoy having that expansion pack. He could play it for hours. He thinks it's so great, and it is fun. <laughs> I am surrounded by boxes at this point. Little Red Sleigh book. Ooh, that looks beautiful. And then a puzzle. We're gonna have lots of fun doing these puzzles. Oh, it's a beautiful toy shop. I love it. And a Minecraft Lego. Okay, we have four more boxes. We can do it. <laughs> okay, we've got Taco versus Burrito. This is the game that we love. So we will gift this to another family so that they can love it as much as we do. Um, or maybe we'll take it to the cabin so we have one there. We don't like to bring a lot of stuff back and forth, so. I take it to the cabin to play all summer. Either way, this is a fun game. Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza is a different game. Haven't played that one before. Oh, we got some stuff for baby girl. Oh, this is so soft. Little bear outfit. Very cute. We've got some really cute little bows. Headband bows. See those different... Just all the little flower patterns. Oh, this is so soft. Three to six months. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at those cute little pockets. Little bunny rabbits or bears. I'm not sure, but they're sure cute. And I don't know what this is. Oh, we got another cookbook. Junior Baker cookbook. Ooh, Bennett's gonna love that. These things look awesome. Bennett has taken over most of the baking. And then we have a STEM kit, science, engineering, technology, 30 to 40 minutes assembly, ages eight and plus. Good, that looks really fun. We love science kits. Let's open this to see what it is. Handmade baby headbands. When she's bigger, her little head is so tiny right now, but look at these cute headbands. All things girly. There's like eight of them in here in all sorts of cute colors. She just has to get a little bigger before we can put bows on her head. This is from Hawaii. Oh, another one from Fujimori. Oh, she said these are calendars, so we'll have to go through those. Hawaii, the Big Island 2024 calendar. We love the Big Island, so this is so fun. Oh, they're all different. This one's Hawaii Tide. Lots of different animals. And Hawaii 50th state. Oh, just like lots of really pretty landscapes. Another pretty landscape one. I may have to hang that above my desk and dream about being in Hawaii. 
Oh, this goes with the other package. <laughs> Baby shark. Cute little onesie. Oh, so cute. So cute. Thank you. Oh, I hear Luna. She wants to come in. She's meowing at the door. Okay. Another amazing box of goodies for the kids. The complete baking book for young chefs by America's Test Kitchen. Love America's Test Kitchen. We've got Guess in 10 Land Animals. So you have to like guess, you get clues and you have to guess the type of animal. This is a great like group game when cousins are over. Awesome. Ooh, a light up like disc. That would be so fun to play right now while it's so dark outside in the snow. The boys would love that. Another little Minecraft Lego. And a big thing of Legos. Oh, and there's another small Minecraft one hidden in here. Wow. Last one. Relaxation coloring. Mandala patterns. Ooh, blooms. Color different flowers. Love that. How to Catch Santa Claus book. Alaska Wildlife and Mountain coloring book. That's awesome. Moose and deer and wolves. A goat on a boat book. Calmness coloring book. Alaska coloring book for kids. That's fun. Oh, the Polar Express. Beautiful. And beautiful birds coloring book. And the To the Moon, Mr. Raccoon. I love that. Hmm. Oh, what a pile of amazing gifts. I'm overwhelmed with just gratitude for how kind and generous everyone has been to our family during this really difficult time. The packages are not necessary, but we receive them with hearts full of gratitude for all the love and kindness you have shown us. Wow. We are so grateful. All right. I'm off to go pump and head to the hospital to be with baby Violet for the rest of the day. Now that the boys are back in school, we're finding a new routine, but it kind of changes every couple of days depending on what's going on in the NICU, what new things they want to try. It's net, the days are never the same. Lots of cuddling, that is the same. I try and hold her at least six hours a day or between Mark and I hold her for at least six hours a day. And the nurses keep telling me how much it's helping. She's growing so well, she's doing so well. And they just see that when a mom holds their baby and mom and dad hold their baby skin to skin, those babies just tend to thrive. So we're doing our best to take care of her, but to also just get lots of rest. I really don't go anywhere other than going to the hospital and back because I'm trying to limit my exposure to germs, uh, stay healthy for her, get the rest that I need between pumping, holding her, driving back and forth. There's really not a lot of time for other things other than just spending some time with the boys um, reading books and getting ready for bed and yeah, it's a lot, but we're doing really well and we're just finding our way each day. Okay. Twice now I thought I was done with this video, but I haven't edited it yet and the packages keep coming. So we're going to finish it up. Uh, I just got home from the hospital. We have about 30 minutes to do this and Bennett is going to come help me. All right. I have one and this is, I think more stuff from Amelia McGrath. I think we're just getting the rest of the stuff she sent at Christmas. Yes. So we have a little My First Christmas Stories Merry Christmas Chip and Dale book. Oh, I hear Luna. She wants to come in in a cute little outfit. Let's see. How much does she say? Oh, so cute. Best dressed little girl in the NICU. That's what the doctor told me. Oh, it came with some little booties and this hat. Oh, wow. Did it have a... She had to open. 
Yeah, it's just because it's been in that. The beautiful picture of some cardinals with she some paid flowers. That? No. Somebody ordered this. Thank you. We don't have a name, I don't think. Let's see, maybe. Oh. Han Chun. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your name, last name correctly. Tan Chun Chui. Thank you for this beautiful picture. I'm going to put it back in the tube so it doesn't get ruined. Cardinals represent a loved one that has passed on, so thank you. Bennett is opening a box from Janet in Arkansas. Mark put some new lights in this room for me, so it's not like a dungeon anymore. Usually I have to use a bunch of extra lights. A zip-up blanket. Oh, like a little swaddle blanket. Oh, it's so cute. So Janet said she had one daughter and then she had all boys. So these are cute things for a daughter. Some shoes. Tiny. tiny. Oh, tiny little shoes. A little hat. Oh, that does something for you. <laughs> oh, man, you got a dress? Uh, Mom. Oh, a cute little... How, how many us. followers do you have? Uh, we're about to hit 70,000. 70,000. Okay. A bumblebee. Oh, a little swimming suit with a cover up. That is so cute. Another coloring. You can let Luna in. I thought another one of these were coming because it said that two are for Hunter and Bennett and two are for Weston and Everett. I think so. these were for us and those other ones were for us. Yep. There's one kit for Hunter and one for Bennett. Apologies for the late Christmas presents. Thank you. We appreciate it. It's Thank okay. Thank you. Okay, put it back. We opened one and it's like a beautiful rainbow inside. Okay. So this box says International Star Registry from okay, M. White. They probably saw we don't have a star in our tree, so they're like... I don't think that's what it means. Bennett's box is from Utah. This one's from the International Star Registry, so... We will what? see. Well, we're going to find out. I, I have an idea, but I don't really know. Okay, it says, Set our hands and affix the seal of International Star Registry from the 25th of December. Oh, this is International Star Registry. Just hereby designate star number. And it gives this really long number to the name of Magnolia Ham. This star will henceforth be known by this name. It's permanently filed in the registry vault. She has vault. a star? Yeah, and then you get, so you get this um, certificate, and then... I want a star. Yeah, this is the coordinates on her birthday. Wow, that's very special. Wait, what? Thank you. These are the coordinates of the star. Oh, and a picture. Huh? Maggie shows. has a, Magnolia has a, a, a star. Yeah. Mom, are you live streaming? I'm not live streaming, but uh, I'm filming, Hunter. And then here's a picture of her star. Wow, thank you. Wow, this is special. Why are we going to buy us? Now, nice. we all go together. The certificate enclosed indicates the new name of the star and its telescopic coordinates. And then it has this like booklet so you know where to find it in the sky. That is very, we'll very kind of you and very thoughtful in memory of our sweet Magnolia. We'll find it? I don't know. We'll have to look at it more closely. And I had heard of something like this, but I never knew like... I think they should buy everybody a star. Recorded in the book, which is registered in the office of the United States of America. It's like official. But international star registry. Yeah, it's official. I, wow. Oh. See, now we're getting gifts after people know her name. Little Miss Violet's name. So, got some purple flowers. Little dress. Oh, sweet. There's two. Uh, she just pinned it on because it has a little headband. So two cute little outfits. A pink one. And a beanie. And a purple one. Oh, Miss Luna is crying outside the door. And then they have little headbands. That's what this flower is. Are you going to go let Inspector Cat Luna one? in? Hello, Miss Luna. Come, Come in looking for trees. <laughs> What's this? Come here. 
you gotta say hi to your friends. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Oh, you just almost got stabbed, Miss Luna. Hey, Luna's here because she came to say hello. She's gonna smell around and search for treats in here. So I do have a stack of Christmas cards that have arrived lately in this bag. So if you sent one and haven't got one back, I will be going through these. Sometimes in the night when I'm waiting to pump for the last time for the night, that's when I do projects like write back cards and stuff and write thank you notes. So give me a little time. Okay, what is this? Aww. Okay, Bennett opened these really special little um, blocks. One is an M for Magnolia, and then one is a V for Violet, and then they have the family members' names on it. So it says Lauren, Mark, Hunter, Weston, Bennett, Everett, Magnolia, and Luna, all her family, what day she was born, and some footprints, and they smell really good too. And then the day she was born, the time, how much she weighed. And then they have a beautiful one for Maggie as well. These are going to be so special up on the shelf in their room. Who made it? It says, a special gift from another Lauren, a YouTube friend. Wow, thank you so much. Did I open this one? I don't think I did. I, I started to and then I wanted to look at those blocks. Little ruffle onesie with, this one has some like, um, Mushroom. mushrooms on it and this one's like a dark green like your jacket very nice well, okay this is a beautiful thick little blanket or like floor mat welcome baby girl thank you so much so many games from julie thank you bennett's seeing some of the stuff in here that i haven't passed out to the family yet so thank you so much julie it's beautiful this is from Peggy Bacon. Hey, we're good. We'd be good friends. Ham and bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna put that from in. Rhode Island. Oh, she'd be like the second person from Rhode Island. Send us some. Got some beautiful purple onesies. Some rainbows. Some little cheetah print and then some purple flowers i love it i i have to say after naming her violet like i'm seeing purple everywhere I now i hope she likes the color purple <laughs> i hope she likes the color purple too but this is a package from kelly in tennessee thank you kelly happy birthday baby violet and welcome to this wonderful <laughs> world and for being such a wonderful and bright ray of sunshine and blessing to your mom, dad, and brothers. Thank you. Okay, she said she found these and she just had to get them for Miss Violet. So, we'll see. Let's get purple stuff. <laughs> purple coat. Maybe. Okay, we have a little... This will be perfect with our last name, Ham. We got a little piggy rattle. This is, this was, this is from Peggy Bacon. Uggs. Oh, it's kind of like little Uggs. How cute. No. Yeah. It's just cute little booties. I was wrong. <laughs> well, they're Carter's Uggs. Very cute. Thank you. She's going to wear them. Or else okay, I'll we got them. a couple more. Or else I'll wear them on my feet. My hands. <laughs> like a puppet show? So, this is from Nyla Kelly. Nyla Kelly Designs. Okay. In the apple. Okay, this one I'm opening is from Amelia McGrath. Some really cute little leggings. Oh, they're tiny. These will fit her right now when she comes home, hopefully in the next month. That's, she's not this now, little. Right well, not right now. She can't really wear pants She because she has too many cords on her. But, like, when she comes home, this would be perfect. Oh, and some mm -hmm. cute little creamy outfits. These mm -hmm. look creamy, yeah. This Violet Sharon embroidered on it. Is it preemie? Yeah, it's preemie. 
Maggie. Oh, and that one's Maggie Linda. Very cute. That's tiny. Little Miss, how cute. That is tiny. What's she would it? fit that right now. Oh, so cute. Hard to believe she's... She looks so healthy in pictures that it's you so can't skinny. believe that she's so little, but... That's she cute. is. It is skinny. Oh, they're oh, both so flowers. Beautiful. I just didn't realize that. You didn't realize their names were both flowers? I was wanting something that had both a magnolia and a violet. This is a beautiful painting. Like a watercolor. My older sister, one of her really good friends. Yeah, these are from her. So Krista also sent these two little beautiful ceramic hearts. She found them at a craft fair made by a mom that had um, lost a son tragically and these are just little grief stones and so we have okay. two beautiful ones. You can have them in your pocket and carry them around. Thank you for such special things you are all Lord sending us. And well, another pink car. Baby white. I'm gonna put them back in that same thing. And some diapers. Pre premium diapers. Awesome. 16 to 28 pounds. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Pink. All right, this one, I don't know if this was sent by someone in the family or what. It doesn't say who or what. Ooh, I wanna wear that. But a cute little bear. This is from Carter's Oshkosh. And then this is like a little Valentine's Day outfit. It says, I love you, big hugs. I guess you could wear it anytime, but I got Valentine's Day on the brain. And then this cute little fleece. So cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you to whoever sent this. I did not have a card. Amelia McGrath sent us a really nice baby, honest baby cloak. Oh, they've got cute little purple flowers. Is there any more stuff? Is it? We've got a little violet onesie. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's a nice bread. The tag says and it all. And then some little pants. We got some purple flowers and blue. It's not violet, Mom. Very cute. It's lavender. Lavender, yes, I know, but it's purple. My dad has been the one going to the P.O. box and bringing all this stuff home for us. And picking so. up. And picking up the boys, yes. Ooh, cute Converse. Oh, some little pink Converse onesies, white. Can never have enough of those. Ooh. Well, let's show them. I gotta show them closer to the camera. These are from April Davis. Violet covered infant shoes for a beautiful, sweet violet. So they're kind of like a purpley sparkle. Disco, hip hop, 1990s. Wait, where did this come from? Oh, this was. This was from that little Oshkosh bag. I this tiny little outfit. Oh my goodness. A little hat. And then the same outfit, but in the six month size. Then it came, he opened, and he disappeared. <laughs> oh, how sweet. It says Magnolia, letters to heaven. So we can write her some beautiful letters. That's very sweet, thank you. Well, friends, you have continued to bless our lives. Violet is doing really well. Just given her her first bottle, so we are on track to get her home. Oh, it's so wonderful to say that. Um, she's still got a ways to go because I gave her a bottle and then she slept through the next several. She wouldn't wake up to eat them. So it's just one step in the right direction. When you're in the NICU, it's like one step forward, two steps back. You just have to take it a day at a time. If you think you're going to plan three or four days ahead, things will completely change. Um, but we are, appreciate the love and prayers cheering her on. We know that that is what is pushing us all through this journey. And we are so grateful. Oh, we're so grateful she's here. We're so grateful she's doing well. So many blessings amid the hard feelings as well. Um, but when I'm holding her... Oh, I just feel at peace. So 
Thank you for cheering us on. Thank you for all these beautiful gifts. Hopefully over the next couple weeks, we will be putting her room together in anticipation of bringing her home. We love you. We're grateful for you. And we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Hello friends. As I'm here writing thank you notes the day after opening these last packages, I know Bennett went through them a little bit fast. I was trying to spend some quality time with him and not just hide myself away in here in the room. He was excited. That's what kids do when they're at opening packages. Sometimes they open them faster than their brain can process, but I had fun spending time with him and we really are grateful for each and every one of these gifts. So thank you so much. If you sent a gift that didn't have an address attached to it, like these beautiful little blocks and the star registry, if you want to send me an email or give me your address on Instagram, I'd love to write you a personal thank you note. Otherwise, just know we are so grateful. These things are so touching. Um, Mark and the boys love looking at the uh, star registry for Magnolia and thinking when we can look up at the stars and think of our sweet little girl up there. So thank you. Very touching.